Hi everyone and welcome back for part two. So I have my kids in here and they're gonna say hello. Hi. Hi and hi. Hi. The 13 year old's not that excited for this. So what I'm gonna do is trace his hand. You gotta lean down. And then um, I didn't realize his hand was so huge so I'm gonna have it go over two pages because he's got an enormous hand. That's what happens when you're an old kid like this. So I'm just using my Sharpie fine point pen and um, I have him kind of like kneeling down. He's not too comfortable here. <laughs> All right, so you're done. Thank you. So this is my son's hand and then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to get my daughter's hand in here. And what I'm thinking about here is, you gotta kneel down, is having some overlap. Maybe. Okay. So we're not gonna see all of her hand, but that's okay, because you guys will remember that I have another page with her hand. Good, thank you. All right, so then the next thing that we're going to do is, when you guys do whatever you want with your hands, um, pose them however you want. Again, I'll show you the inspiration piece, if I can find it here. Um, so here's one with the two hands, move it over. And then here's the other one with my own two hands. So play with it, have some fun. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to paint these um, a flesh tone. And so what I do for my flesh tone is I have my, um, my peach and my white crayons right next to each other. And I just go down the top of them like this. And then I flip it over. And this is, if you're one of those people who's like, who, who doesn't want to mix up your colors, don't do this. Just color it in by hand. Um, I'm not one of those people again. Like I said in my last one, my last video, once I kind of release control, I'm having a whole lot more fun in here. So you're just gonna kind of paint it um, Loosely, you're not you're not trying to get like every little piece of this. You're trying to make a um, just a quick painting here of the of the hands. And one of the things that I really like is I like how the colors kind of um, come through. So let me just go ahead and turn this around. Paint this other hand. Okay, and then let's just go ahead and dry this off. If you're using a heat tool, it's really important to move the heat tool around so that you don't burn your paper. dropping stuff over here. I was thinking that it would be really cool to have a heart, 
but I might just do that in my journaling I'm not sure um, maybe I'll just go ahead and do it right on their hand um, So the next thing that we're going to do is get out our um, Sharpie pens. Um, sorry, having trouble locating. Okay, so I now have three different sizes of the Sharpie pen, but unfortunately this one is out of ink and this is the one that I'd like to use, but the store only had the bigger one, so that's the one I'm going to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to sketch a border in and I like the look of a border with things sticking past it. So I'm just going to come in here and remember that everything I do is optional. If you're not feeling the whole, you know, the border thing, then don't do it. Do what you like. Do what feels good for you. For me, borders feel good. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go over my kids' hands with, um, I'm going to do it with the big marker. struggling today. And then I have um, this little piece of paper that I use to, um, I need to pump my marker. I do it over here. I'm kind of attached to this funny little piece of paper. There we go. Getting the ink flowing. And then let's come over here to this side. I'm going to go ahead and do this little heart. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead and add some details. So if you look at your hand, I realize this is not my hand, it's my son's, but if you look at it, your nails are not going to be that big unless you have big, long, fancy nails. So I'm just going to kind of give my son some nails, keeping in mind that he is a boy, so I'm not going to go crazy. And then the thumb, it's going to be kind of sideways, like so. And then we'll do the same for my daughter's hand and then keeping in mind where her so I'm not gonna be able to see this one it's gonna be under that finger can't see that one can't see this one so it will just be these two okay and I used the sharpie pen so that I could um, go back over that with the um,
with the paint pen. Um, before I do that though, I think what I'm going to do is paint their nails. So I'm going to use, um, use blue and green together for my sun. Oh, I kind of like that color. And we'll come over here and do. Now, of course, my son would not be painting his nails, but um, I'm just trying to add interest to the page. Okay, and then my daughter, I think I'm going to do kind of a um, pink. And let me go ahead.